Hi everyone, just a quick video on my AMT Kenworth trucks I've been building. So what we have, these AMT trucks, I picked them up at a local Aldi grocery store, had them come up, they were $50, so I thought that was expensive, but when I had a look online and at the hobby shop, they're like, more like $120 and $130 Australian, so I ended up grabbing one and um, I went back and they restocked, so I got the Kenworth Conventional 925 and the Peterbilt Racker, which I haven't started, but that's a pretty nice looking truck, so that's my next next job. So I've got that one and the Alaskan hauler. So as I showed you, this one here's coming along nice. I'm going to repaint the roof. I've painted it with some aerosol enamel. Um, just doesn't dry. So it's been a week where I've been handling it. The roof's got some marks. You can't see them as much in the on the camera but yeah I'm going to redo the roofs on the sleeper cabin and the, the truck cabin before I put the um, exhaust stacks on it's got chrome double exhaust stacks on it um, a lot of people who are familiar with these models the AMT models will tell you there's a lot of modifying and cutting and um, yeah a lot of fiddly stuff you got to do with them the instructions aren't that great the parts aren't numbered so there's usually a lot of googling thank goodness for google so looking at other people's models and photos of the real trucks so i'll just show you underneath this one has got the dual exhaust system that's not too bad that goes up onto the dual stacks on both sides which as i said i've got to do um tanks on the side they're chrome like the mud guards but where you cut them off the sprue, there's this ugly mark and a big join seam running, sorry, all the way along the tank through the middle, which looks ghastly. I don't like it. So I ended up putting, um, sanding them down with some fine wet and dry, uh, about 600 grit. Um, put some Tamiya model putty on the joins and let them dry for a couple of days. Again, wet sanded them, sprayed them with some aerosol primer. Then sanded them again with 800 wet and dry, then sprayed them with chrome spray, which comes up, if you put on a nice wet coat without letting it run, it comes up like aluminium, which looks pretty good. So that's a bit of an improvement I did. I've been putting little lights and things on last night. Those ones on the guards, you just a toothpick around the edge with a bit of silver. Um, let's see if I can gently lift the hood without breaking it. I managed to get all that to fit pretty good, but there's engine detail in there, which is nice. You can see. I'll turn that around. It's cooled again. There we go. So things like the turbo. You can see it in there. Yeah. Some fog lights in the front. So yeah, just exhaust stacks on that. I put the pogo stick for the airlines on last night. Um, little reflector lights, marker lights down on the backs of the guards. I picked out that with a toothpick on the mud flaps. Not the greatest, but it's neat enough if you look at it from standing back. It's the plastic's not exactly smooth, so it was a bit hard to, to get that done. Um, yeah, that one's nearing completion. This one here is a bit further progress, same thing, I did the little lights last night. Put some gloss medium on the on the fifth wheel with a bit of um, uh, Vallejo brand, it's called Smoke. So I mixed a bit of smoke with gloss medium and put that on there, so that's fairly effective. Looks like the grease stains, but it's actually dry, you can touch it. Looks wet, but it's not. Uh, painted the chains with a bit of rusty brown, hung them on. So these marker lights on the roof, same as the spotlights on the back of the suicide rack. What I did, I got some just aluminium foil and I pushed that in there with a root round end of the paintbrush, the wooden end, just burnished it in there. Put, put a little bit of super glue in there first. These ones here, I stuck the super glued on the foil, on the a little bit of glue on the foil, 
dab the lights on it and then just let them dry and then I just cut around with a hobby knife and left the foil on the base so it was sticking to the roof with the foil underneath so it gives it more of an effective look on the light just an idea I had um, looks quite nice this one it's more of a work truck the hauler the chain on the front um, started putting some of the plates on I bumped this one just then so that one's got to be glued back on so yeah they are pretty delicate when you hand them so this one's got the air horns it was all white plastic this kit so that's just aluminium paint this fancier truck's got the chrome roof lights and air horns which will go on once I repaint the roof I did it in the um, hill and hill marking the decals that came in this kit um, I didn't like the um, the Watkins scheme so I thought I'd do it that color but with these this company logo started putting some of the state markings on to focus no yep um, this one here I chose that decal set yeah I'll just sort of show you something else before I finish up so what I've been doing I've got a bit of solder and I wrapped it around the base something small like this file handle around that red bit um, wrapped it around there the soft solder is really easy to use right diameter and I got a bit of the black rubber hose that comes with the kit stuck that on that end that'll go down to the air tanks these will get hung from this high point on the hose on the pogo stick and then that in there I'll put a little bit of sprue painted it silver so what I'm doing I'll pick this one up it's fallen on the floor I've painted that one red the red paint there obviously and then I've chosen this blue so I'll do two red two blue and they'll hang on the pogo sticks on the truck so I thought that was a neat idea I just googled some images of some real trucks and have a look at the airlines I had a fair idea they were blue and red usually but um, yeah just to see how they looked on the pogo stick so that'll be a nice little addition so anyway um, thought I'd show you how these trucks are coming along they're mostly finished I've got a trailer I've been looking at at the hobby shop it's about 150 bucks but it's a flatbed um, low trailer and it's also got the I think it's a D9 or a D, D8 Caterpillar tractor so I'm going to do that and make the tractor look really dirty and muddy and um, do the trailer to match this truck and yeah that'll be like I said if it was hauling say a tractor to a gold mine or something so that'll be a nice little addition so anyway I hope you enjoyed looking at my trucks um, I'm pretty happy with the way they're coming along but uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend them for a first time builder or a young kid. Um, certainly wouldn't be able to assemble them. They're a lot of mucking around. So if you've got some modding skills, they come up quite nice. Thank you.